In a similar way, Richmond's Royal Observatory is located in a curious ritual landscape of its very own, directly tapped into some key locations on the Kingston Zodiac. This strange and anonymous monolith in Richmond's Old Deer Park is believed to mark the former site of a vanished mark tree, long since replaced by a gigantic cedar that stands on the nearby golf course. Marking the centre of a series of geometrical landscape alignments, it has direct connections with Brentford Zion House, where previous former occupants have included Henry Percy, the Wizard Earl of Northumberland, one-time student of Elizabethan court astrologer John Dee. Close at hand is the now generally accepted location of the site of Julius Caesar's great battle with the Belgic-British chieftain Cassivellaunus, whose enemies had previously parleyed with Caesar at nearby Wimbledon Common, a fact commemorated by this now-vanished pillar in Brentford's Ferry Lane. The pillar's new location outside the local magistrate's courts is an appropriately apt position for a memorial stone that also provides direct evidence that like Caesar's Iron Age camp on Wimbledon Common, this self-same locality has been the scene of important folk moots, such as that between King Offa, his nobles and his bishops in the winter of 780-81. This strange and interesting link between both these ritual landscapes is made doubly significant by the fact that Richmond Observatory's successor here at Greenwich is likewise located in the centre of another, part ancient, part modern, ritual landscape with definite and proven Masonic associations here in the shadow of Canary Wharf. Standing on the eastern fringe of Ian Sinclair's Hawksmoorian geomantic configurations, the area is dominated by the Neo-Rosicrucian symbol of the Great Masonic Pyramid of contemporary Illuminist plutocracy. On the western fringes of the same matrix stands another geomantic conundrum centred on the United Grand Lodge of Freemasons in Great Queen Street. Although post-dating the landscape alignments of Sir Nicholas Hawksmoor and Richmond's Old Deer Park by the best part of two centuries, the common geometric patterns and interconnected web of related buildings presents a continuation of these earlier Masonic endeavours at psychic control of the environment. From its centre at the Grand Lodge, this perfect regular pentagram stretches out across the city, with its apex firmly pointed to an ancient druidical mound on Pentonville Heights. Close at hand is the former site of another 18th century Merlin's Cave, linked to the one that we visited at Kew when our story began, in a locality likewise frequented by our Scottish Enlightenment intellectuals just as this cluster of ancient mounds in Greenwich Park is tapped into Ian Sinclair's Hawksmoorian matrix of late Stuart Masonic churches. Do these clear and provable Masonic connections in some way explain the true motivation for the suppression of the Stonehenge People's Free Festival and the apparent obsession by certain elements within the political and civil service establishments to employ large numbers of police officers and vehicles just to stop people actually convening there? Expensive and limited law enforcement resources that would be far better used targeting violence and gun crime in some of our worst affected inner cities areas. Back here at Greenwich Park we have another geomantic alignment with St Paul's which echoes those which were demonstrated earlier on Parliament Hill and at London Stone. Across the city here on Henry VIII's mound in Richmond Park to the far west of Greenwich a similar alignment to St Paul's Cathedral is nowadays obscured more often than not by a pollutant haze of photochemical smog. The mound itself is a prehistoric tootill or lookout mound, directly connected in terms of its probable antiquity and purpose with the original Tot Hill that gave Westminster's Tot Hill Street, which we visited earlier, its name. Its position on a sloping embankment high above the River Thames provides a wonderful vista of the western suburban sprawl of nearby Teddington, Twickenham and Hampton Wick. 
Like the mounds that we have just seen over in Greenwich Park to the east, it is aligned to a number of local churches, both ancient and modern in terms of their general origin and architectural design.